Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and having a great day. I thought I would do a little B&M haul because it's been a while and do you know what? I've actually been quite good at not over buying, you know, like over purchasing cleaning products and all that. Every time I go to the shops, usually I get over excited and then I buy more things than I actually need. But over the last little while, with things being a bit busier, we've been off on holiday and just different bits and bobs, I haven't been to do a big B&M shop for a long time so I needed like all new cleaners like I needed like glass cleaner and surface spray and all that kind of stuff shower gel you know just how it goes everything runs out at one time so this was very much overdue so I'm glad that I got everything but a few wee things in there that I thought would be quite interesting to show you as well so get comfy grab yourself a drink I've got mine in my big huge flask which has actually lasted since this morning it's such a good idea by the way just quickly before we start if anyone thinks my hair looks a bit greasy I've actually got this leave-in conditioner mask on it it's weird because it's not wet it's just kind of a little bit oily at the end so if it does look different from normal that is the reason why Let's start off with a wee snacky thing. These are unbelievable. I am addicted to these. I'm trying really hard to watch my calorie intake at the moment, especially with summer around the corner. And the ice cream and cocktail season is upon us, so I kind of feel like it's almost like a bit of damage limitation to start now and watch my calorie intake. So these are really good to help with that. It's the Skinny Dream Bars. These are the strawberries and cream bar. But do you know when you actually look at it, see that red part there inside them? It's like a really nice, sweet, like, compote. Like, it's so nice. Um, and then they kind of taste a bit more like yogurt covered rather than like white chocolate. So these are like 99 calories per bar, but really nice with a cup of tea or a coffee. So I love getting these and I'm sure they were 150. They definitely used to be 99p and everything's just going up in price. I've noticed that across the board, like so much stuff. In fact, I'll show you in a second because there's something I bought here in this video that was a pound in Poundland. And I think you just need to shop around, don't you? So anyway, I'll share that when it comes to it. This is another little food item that, I'm not gonna lie, there's one left in it. These are the Skinny Whip Minis, but they are so good. I tried to describe them on Instagram. They're kind of like, almost a bit like an after eights taste but you know those mint crunch like chocolates you get after like after dinner mints it's like them with the little bits of like sort of crunchy mint through it you know what i'm talking about these are 31 calories per piece that is one piece they're really nice though even if it's not as a low calorie treat because let's face it that's not going to fill you up but they're really really nice so i love them um, and as you can see there's not very many left this is kind of food related i've actually just made an omelette of this but i put it back in the package so you can see what it looks like in case you want to buy it for yourself but we had these really old ikea pans and every time i used them or even if i recorded with them you know if i was making like a food video for instagram i used to think they look in absolute state they're all scratched and then i seen something on tiktok that said that scratched pans like the kind of um, enamel at the bottom if they're scratched then it actually can end up going into your food and it's quite toxic so that freaked me out so i've been those and i got this instead now this is the tower which i'm sure is like the brand that they have in b &M. it's the 32 inch sarah stone frying pan it eh, forged aluminium but it's also got this sarah stone on it so it's like five times toughened triple layer stone coating that's on it i'm going to take this off so you can see it but it does say food never sticks and it never chips. My other ones were absolutely battered to bits, so I thought that was quite a good little buy, and that was £17 for that one. Again, on to more foodie stuff kind of thing. This is something that I was looking for, so it's a six pack of meal prep bowls, um, just so that I can try and stay on track. Oh no! They've cracked, you're kidding, look. Oh man, I've obviously sat them down on top of something, but they've cracked. That's kind of annoying. Do you know what? It was inevitable I was going to lose one of the lids anyway, but oh my god, they're all cracked. They're actually all cracked. Do you know that's something I never even checked before I left the shop? Oh my god. They all look a bit of a mess, don't they? But it's a shame. Do you know what? It was literally just so that I could portion things up. It's only for keeping in the fridge anyway. It's not for taking out, but that's really annoying. Anyway, I might go and get some new ones of these, but I think that that's a good idea anyway. These are stackable, reusable, definitely crack easily, but they were only 3 50 for six bowls. Um, and they're quite big as well, so I just thought they'd be good for, you know, just making like rice and or noodles or pasta or whatever with chicken and things and just put it in there or even little salad bowls 
I just thought it'd be ideal for having as some meal prep through the week for both Fraser night and the fact that there's six in there it means I can kind of prepare three meals ahead of time for both of us um, just don't think we can put the lid on them though and take them out anywhere how annoying is that? I'm actually devastated that's really annoyed me these bowls talk about things that cracked the last time I came back from B&M when I bought these bowls I don't know what I did I think I must have forgotten that one was in the bottom of the bag and I put the bag down on my like tiled floor Luckily the tile ever broke but the, the actual bowl did break but these bowls have been so handy. I don't know if you can really see on camera but they're this sort of like really nice sort of like natural beige but they've got a fleck through it so it kind of looks a little bit more stone like. But see these bowls, I know they're like pasta bowls right? We use it for so many things, let's see just generally plating up dinner. It's so good for the kids. See when they're eating dinner it stops them pushing things off the plate. So I just think that's really handy. These are only two fifty each, and it's part of the natural home like collection. So there's all different bits and bobs you can get from there. But I thought these were really nice. And um, one was chipped because we we do stack them inside the cupboard, which I feel like everyone does. But one's got a chip on it, and one smashed. So I thought I'll just replace both of these. But five pounds for both of them, I thought was pretty good. Right, on to like personal care items. I was really really interested in this. I think it was 150. It's the Waken, is that the name of it? Waken mouthwash with fluoride, blended with natural elderflower and mint. I've never heard of this brand before either, but let's have a sniff of it because I do like the smell of elderflower. It just smells like a really nice mild mint scent. It's lovely. Also, kind of smells a little bit like licorice. Weird. But I thought it was really nice and the packaging is lovely. I've never heard of this brand, like I say, but apparently it's from London. So, yeah, waking mouthwash. Now, you might remember Fraser's love of Molson Brown shower gel. It's the coastal one. It's like a blue coloured bottle or a blue coloured like actual gel. And it smells really quite fresh and sea-like, like a kind of sea salt smell. It's really, really nice. Anyway, he loves it, but they're obviously quite expensive. <laughs> it's all of us showering all the time. We go through stuff like that pretty quickly. So I thought I would try and find a little alternative for the everyday. And honestly, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it's the same kind of vibe. The KDX Original Shower Gel has that same type of scent as that shower gel does. It's that kind of like really fresh, almost like a eucalyptus type scent, a little bit minty. Um, but I thought this would be really good. Now this is 150. Annoyingly, this is a pound in pound land, but I never knew that. I picked up three of them because I've got a kind of dispenser that I use for shower gel. So I thought across the two showers I can actually fill these up. They were 500 milliliter bottles, uh, 150 each. But like I say, if you are going to get them, then go to pound land because they are cheaper. But I do think it's very good. Light and refreshing fragrance and it helps maintain a natural pH balance on the skin. Yeah, it's really nice. I do like it. I wonder if he's going to notice. I'm going to decant it into... Will I do that actually? I will put it in his molten brown bottle and see if he notices. He'll definitely notice. <laughs> I'll wait till it's done then I'll fill it up and do a little test, shall I? And just see if he says anything. Right, this sounds pretty bad, right? But I have my own hair stuff. Like, you know, I've got my own hair care that I kind of spend a little bit of money on, like my own shampoo and conditioner. So I feel like because I've got my hair burst stuff that's kind of just for me, I need to go and get other genetic shampoos and conditioners. Um, but I do like this one, the Garnier Ultimate Blends. It's a silicon free, which I think is really important. And it's like really detangling on Ella's hair. See, because she's not getting any issues with like fine thinning hair or anything like that, obviously with her being young, Something like this is ideal for her, so I picked this up for the rest of the fam and I'm going to stick to the hair first. That honestly makes me feel terrible, but it's really good. I think it's maybe like £2 per bottle and it smells really nice. It's that kind of like macadamia type scent. It says coconut, but it's definitely more of a, yeah, it's more of a cocoa butter type of smell, um, but really, really good. And yeah, we had this on holiday actually and I thought it was actually really good. I also got the kids toothpaste, which is only a pound, and then I got us a toothpaste as well because we're running low. Sorry if this is a bit Alan Pitchmarsh, right? But <laughs> I don't know how anyone else's gardens are looking now, but mine actually looks bare. Like it's so bad. It's May and 
nothing's growing right and I thought maybe it is because it needs a bit of a helping hand. So I've got my Resolva Weed Killer 24 hour um, weed killer and it's obviously just to get rid of anything that's on my path or the slabs. And then I've got some Miracle Grow. So I'm hoping this is just the ready to pour stuff which is just easy. I'm going to go and finish this outside just now. But I'm just hoping that this is going to be really helpful for getting the garden back. Now I have to say, see the Miracle Grow up in B&M. It's like £3.50 maybe, £3 something in B&Q. This is probably about £6 or £7. So that was the last year, right enough. I don't know if it's the same this year, but I definitely find these kind of things are cheaper to buy out of the likes of B&M and Home Bargains than it is to go to your local garden centre. So yeah, I definitely want to go and do this and hopefully it'll make a difference because everything's looking a bit dead and it's making me worry that things are not going to come back this year because it's just been such a cold winter and it's just rained constantly in Scotland. But another little personal care item. This is lovely. This is the Astonish Protect Plus Care Milk and Honey. And this reminds me of the Palm Olive one but it's a wee bit more... It's a little bit more coconutty than that. It's a lovely scent. It actually smells a wee bit like a pina colada. I know it says milk and honey, but it does definitely have a scent of pineapple in there somewhere. It's a wee bit citrusy. Um, I don't know if anyone else has thought that. Yeah, it, it, honestly, it smells of like pineapple. It's really, really nice. So I've picked that up to decant into all my hand washers, like downstairs toilet, in the kitchen, laundry room, all that stuff. And this is a big one. It's a mega value one. I'm sure it was a pound. And that's 600 mil, so that's pretty good. I do find having things to decant into definitely makes a big difference, but... I wish things just came as a refillable and they never had any refillable hand pouches, like hand wash pouches in b &M when I was there the other day, otherwise I would have bought that because I just feel like this is a bit of a waste otherwise. Okay, I also got some new Dishmatic sponge replacement heads because these things actually are a bit disgusting aren't they? So I like to make sure I've always got little replacement ones. These ones here are the non-scratch essential refills but these are quite soft in comparison to some of them. You need to be so careful because some of them are really quite abrasive. Something else with the garden that I never mentioned was I got some gloves. Now, there's a pack of three extra value gloves they do in there. I think there's like a green pair, a pink pair, and maybe a blue pair in the packet. But there's something about the plastic coating, the latex coating on them, that then if it's a sunny day or they've been wet and then they dry, it kind of dries and then it cracks and then you can't use them for weeding anymore. So these ones aren't very aesthetically pleasing, let's face it, they're a bit minging. But I did buy them in a bit of a larger size, thinking that maybe Fraser could also help. Although, don't the fingertips look really short? It sprays, this is definitely something I was excited to try. It's the Spray Wipe Done, but it's the Pink Tulips and White Jasmine. Now see, initially I thought that looked like the Wild Berries one, just when you initially look at it, until you notice that obviously they've got different branding. It's because the colour is nearly the exact same as it, so I kind of thought that it was the same thing until I looked closely and realised it was a different scent, which I'm actually excited for. This, I'm sure, is the, yeah, Mrs Hinge recommended one, so it's the Country Garden Edition. And I'm going to spray it to see what the scent's like. I don't know if it really reminds me of something, but I don't know what it is. I wonder if any of you have tried it and thought the same. It reminds me of something so specific. Does anyone know what it is? Kind of cleaning gloves for the next cleaning video. You'll not actually miss me because I'll be wearing these. How bright are those? <laughs> Do you know what though? I thought it was really good. They're only £2, but not only are these good cleaning gloves, they're actually like flock lined inside. So I don't know if you can actually see properly, but... Inside them they've got this really nice like thick fleece and um, me and my mum both got them and when she put them on when she went home she was like this is heaven <laughs> because they're so nice and like fluffy inside so I'm going to try them on and see if she's right. Oh that sounds a bit dodgy. There we go. Oh yeah they are good. They feel quite tight as well on, like because you've obviously got the double lining inside them. Handy. That's like a pun, isn't it? I don't even mean that. Anyway, so I love them. Two pounds for them. And that'll be really helpful when I'm cleaning my bathrooms. Something else for cleaning the bathroom is this. So I quite like the Foam Aroma, I think it's called. But this is the kind of same equivalent. This is the Fabulosa version of that. And it's in the scent Cotton Fresh. Now I'm assuming that this is going to smell a bit like baby powder 
that's what I imagine it to smell like in my head, so let's have a little go. Oh, it's not, it's like, it actually smells fizzy. Oh, well, actually, hang on. I think I was just a bit close before. It is quite like baby powder. Yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice. It helps prevent line scale buildup, removes odours and stains, and it's got an active foam. So I just thought it'd be really good for finishing off the toilet whenever I'm doing some cleaning. Another nice spring scent. I thought I would change up my little plug-in. So this one here, I keep it really low and just it continually just sort of like produces the nice fragrance. This is the Stacey Solomon Spring Roses. This was on sale. I'm sure that these were three pounds for the two, which is pretty like unheard of for Airwick plugins. Um, so this can last up to 200 days. Um, and this is the sandalwood and rose scent. It is so nice. So usually I'm a summer delights person, which is, I think it's watermelon and vanilla scented, something like that. Whereas this one is kind of in the same like family of scents, I would say. So really, really nice. If you're looking for a new plug-in scent, then I highly recommend this one. I also picked up some window cleaner or glass cleaner. This is the elbow grease one. I think this one's really, really good. It's very tempting to go for that pink one. You know, the pink windowing, but I just think this one is really good and I don't want to deviate. So this one's only a pound as well. So I got that for doing all my glassware. Something else I wanted to top up for my cleaning was any kind of like bedding sprays. So I've got one upstairs that actually is just like a combination of water and essential oils that I just spray. But I seen this and I thought it looked really nice because it says here it's safe to use around dogs and cats. This is the country garden scent, the same as the surface cleaner. And I just thought this would be really, really good. So yeah, basically you can just use this to spray on your bedding, carpets, any kind of soft furnishing to get rid of odors and just freshen it up. But let's face it like that, I don't really know. I think that, I don't really want that on my bedside table. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to have that there. So I thought what I could do is take this and then decant it. As much as it's a good spray bottle, I'm going to repurpose a spray bottle as a garden spray bottle, right? For my plants so that I can spray them down so they don't get white fly, right? But I was thinking what I could do is decant that into a nice glass bottle. So I love this. It was three pounds. It's part of the natural home range, but it's glass. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a massive fan of the black nozzle, but I thought this was pretty good. So it means I can even do like a little label for it on my Cricut machine and then put my bedding spray in it. And I can just use this to spray all the sheets when I'm done making the beds in the morning. So that was three pounds, which I thought was pretty good. And even if you had like, I don't know, like a laundry room set up with a few different shelves, it'd be quite cool to put these in with like your mix of like fabric conditioner and water to spray your clothes down. Or even if you've got the crease release spray, which I've not bought in ages and I really need to buy. Um, yeah, basically you can do your own version of that by putting some water and fabric softener together in a bottle and spraying your clothes down. So it'd be good for something like that as well. So I just think these kind of things are ideal and it was only three pounds. I also got some of these fairy and wash scent boosters. These are good because they're for sensitive skin. I usually use the fairy pods, but I've already put them away because I had to put a wash on. But do you know what? I've been walking in here for like the whole morning going, wow, the kitchen smells amazing. What is that smell? It's these. I've now just, it's this whole bottle, this whole like packaging situation. The smell, I wish I could smell it through the phone. It's so lovely and cotton like it's stunning so what i'm going to do and i may just do it right this second actually i'm going to open up this carton i'm sure these were 250 which usually in scent boosters are a fortune it says here shake and sniff oh man it's too good i don't even need to shake it because it's unbelievable i think they've obviously cottoned on to the fact that most people buy these and decant them so here we go they've actually got a pouring situation going on. I also bought this for it, right? Scent boosters. It just says scents on it. It was only 150. It's a 500 milliliter laundry storage bottle. So this is plastic, which I think is pretty good because just in case it gets knocked over because you know what it's like. But I thought this was really good. And what I could do is just sit it on the side of my little floating shelves that I did. So let's top this up. Look, this is going to be satisfying. This could have made a nice satisfying wheel. Oh, the top one. There we go. Oh my god, that's so good. And then you can put the little stopper on top. 
Sorry, but buzzing. How good is that? I'm delighted with that. And it means I can just always know that buying one of them when this is done means that it's going to be, even like when this starts to run low, if I buy another full one of them and top it up, it's going to kind of just fill it to the top. So I'm delighted with that. It's the simple things in life, isn't it? And talking about other simple things, I got some new dishcloths. $2.50 for these microfiber cloths. I just thought it'd be good to replace the ones that I've got because I've had them for a while and they're getting a bit grubby. So I've got new ones and I quite like it when you've got the different colours on them because usually what I would then do is naturally the blue would, or the green colour would be for the bathroom. This one, the grey one, would usually be for the glass. Um, oh, there's two greys though. The light grey I reckon I would use for the living room and then the pink for the kitchen. So they've all got a place and a home. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was so nice to sit down and chat to you. These are my favourite types of videos to film. Just like recommendations, products that I'm enjoying. So if there's anything you'd like to see in the future from me, then please let me know in the comments and I'll make them coming up in the next few weeks. But I hope you're all having a lovely Wednesday and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.